Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Cats. We're back on Read Only Memories. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me do one thing that people kept telling me to do. Um, where's my room? Here it is. Let's go here. So, people kept telling me to take something in the fridge. Bottle of mustard and a carton of spoiled milk, which has developed an odor. Maybe the spoiled milk has one more good day on it. Maybe. I'm going to take the milk. Okay. <laughs> I got an achievement. One more good day. Wow, that's gross. Um, people kept telling me to take the spoiled milk and then just throwing, throw it, uh, just like show it to everybody. Oh wait, hold on. Let me remember the controls here. I'm not used to using a mouse. Um, my controller died, so I am actually using a mouse like I'm supposed to. <laughs> Yuck, I don't have taste buds, and this makes me glad I don't. Alright, let's, uh, let's go back. Where were we? We have to try to figure out how to get into the place. Um, I think. I think we just stole her ID. Um... I don't remember her, her name. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. My ID card? Uh, no. Hmm. Maybe I should have remembered what I did before I went. Okay. So... I don't know why Turing is over here. He's marked to be here. Hold on. Let's, uh... Can I escape? Yes. What items do I have? I have an empty water glass, for some reason. These headphones. Super spoiled milk. We got spoiled milk. It's spoiled milk. Sticking up the joint. Okay. And that's not helping. So here, have spoiled milk. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Cool, so I don't think I can do anything here yet. Let's go visit Tomcat. Actually, let me see if there's anything else to do here first. Hello, police wrong. Uh, okay, never mind. Let me let me fast forward and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I just spent three minutes not knowing what to do. Alright, so I'm gonna talk to Tomcat. I have no idea if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but he just asked me how the search is going and I'm gonna tell him that we got cut off by the police. Damn, ain't that hell of a patch of bad luck. I don't have any new ideas for you to hunt down yet, but I'll keep looking. Maybe you could try coming at it from another angle. Just let me know if you find anything useful. We gotta keep our heads together on this one. <laughs> Seriously though, what is <laughs> what is just this problem? Okay. Cool, so that didn't help much. Um, I'm going to go to... Whoops, map. Okay, yes. I'm gonna go to Hayden's apartment. Um, can I give you the other ID? No. Let's talk to you. <clears throat> I don't remember what voice I gave this robot. All citizen, this area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF department as a part of ongoing investigation. No, I don't think I would have given them that voice. <laughs> it's too hard to say big words. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Oh, okay. This is Detective Lexi Rivers, badge number 881126. I will be entering the, climb the crime scene with my assistant to gather in evidence. Please move out, but maintain the perimeter. Of course, Detective Rivers. Good luck with your investigation. So, are you impressed yet? Have I proven my usefulness, Manny? <laughs> you don't need to prove anything to me, Turing, but good job. Thank you! At times I feel like I feel my inexperience may be holding us back, but I will continue to do my best to assist you. I just wish Hayden had given me more practical training to deal with this kind of situation. Or even just being out and about in general. It can be a bit overwhelming at times. Ooh. 
How did that work with just Lexi's voice anyway? Can't that police bot see us? Well, I'm not sure I'd call that seeing. The Neo SF Police Department uses a government rebuild of the old Robodyne 6300. They're antiquated enough that I'm surprised they aren't in a museum. Their optics are a paltry 10 megapixels, and it was a child's play for me to modulate my forward display into a tight beam image aimed directly into its lenses. I also transmitted the credentials we got from Detective Rivers' badge earlier. I probably could have gotten away with just that, but better safe than sorry when impersonating an officer of the law. Frankly, I'm rather embarrassed for the uh, for the ROM. The poor thing is older than your computer. But enough of that. Let's get the data cache and return to Tomcat. Okay. I guess we can just enter. Oh. Okay. What happened? What? Oh no! 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 Our apartment. What did they do to my home? Who could have done this? Jeez, that graffiti looks like human revolution stuff. Why would they come after us, though? Why would they break our things? I... I don't know what to do, Manny. This place, these items, they're all I have of Hayden. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if I can't find him? Don't, don't worry, Turing. We'll find him. You're... You're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst, Manny. Let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. We don't have the time to waste on my histronics. His, his, history, histrionics? Pure graffiti. Humanity has changed rapidly in the last century. Hybridization of the human genome and a wide variety of cybernetic augmentations has, in human revolution's viewpoint, diluted the purity and strength of the species. That's gross. Tech scum graffiti. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda, but I don't know why they'd come after Hayden. I know they don't like Parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. That's why they're protesting at Genus right now. I'll run some deep net mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. Let's see if we can find... anything. Oh my god. Busted TV. No. Let's uh... Let's see the torn up plant. Someone took the time to methodically shred the poor plant. Okay, let's see the broken window. Views marred by graffiti and splintered ga glass. Busted TV. A round piece has embedded in the high res screen. Has been embedded? Wait. Static dances around across the display. You'd think they would have stolen this. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Probably a good TV. Okay. Mm, empty desk. Desk has been ransacked and tagged with spray, spray paint. I think the data cache is gone, Manny. They've searched everywhere and it just isn't here. I hate to return to Tomcat empty handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. The data cache is no longer a main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. Maybe they took it um, for corporate espionage. Maybe they took it to delay Hayden's research? That's a distinct possibility, Manny. I just don't have enough personal experience with a human revolution to give you an honest answer. The information on the MeshNet is extremely conflicting and de desperately polarized. Some of it paints them as non-druid nature lovers, other parts bigoted l ludites stuck in the past. Perhaps we could... Whoa. Manny? What's going on? Manny! Whoa, what happened? Um... Chapter 2, I guess. Wow. That was... That happened. I'm gonna eat a... I'm gonna eat a gummy bear. I have gummy bears and I'm gonna eat one. I'm gonna ruin this moment. <laughs> Manny, thank goodness you thank goodness you're finally awake. I spent the last the past 30 minutes calculating the odds of you being indefinitely incapacitated or immobilized. I'm relieved to find my pessimism was misplaced and that you appear to be okay. Alright. Let me eat this. 
Uh, let's see. My head is killing me. What happened? Someone ambushed us at the apartment. After you collapsed, my power systems were jammed by whoever attacked us. It took me 10 minutes to reboot and call an ambulance. When we left, I noticed they had done the same thing to the N NSFPD ROM that was standing post. It takes a lot of power to crash one of those even temporarily. What's strange is that there isn't evidence of any impact trauma to your head at all. The doctors were originally worried that you may have suffered a concussion, but thankfully that isn't the case. My best calculation ind indicate that you were hit with some kind of neurological scrambler. They are serious. They are serious mi military hard. Blah blah blah. And difficult to obtain, and that type of non-lethal electrical field would interrupt my systems as well. A mil-spec neural scrambler is my best deduction. Huh. Why did they attack us and just leave? If we walked in on them while they were searching the apartment for Hayden's files, I can understand them stunning us to make their escape. But the probability that they're actually after me, or rather the research behind my creation, seems high. Leaving me when I was vulnerable makes no sense. Who do you think did this? Perhaps a big multinational corporation, or even an actual government. I now believe my original hypothesis to have been correct. Hayden must, by, must have been kidnapped by a powerful organization looked at, looking to get control of his research. Trashing our apartment may have been a cover for the theft that, of the da data cache we were looking for. Hmm. Maybe they didn't recognize- I have a hard time believing that, but... That's a reasonable deduction, Manny. We'll have to be careful from here on out, so as to prevent our stalkers from snatching our prize from us. If they don't ha yet have Hayden's research, we may have still have time to rescue him before something really bad happens to him. Did you see who hit us? No, I didn't. They hit us from behind, and nothing showed up on my optics before I was disrupted. They either had a cloaking of some kind, or were just very careful making their way into the apartment. My optics, while not top of the line, are better than off-the-shelf ROMs, and I should have been able to detect any, any thermal changes from someone being there. Did they just sneak in the front door while we were the, in there rummaging? When my RAM got scrambled, I, got a, I lost a few seconds of memory that hadn't yet been written to my data drive. Anyway, the nurses told me that they, that they do want you to stay overnight for observation, Manny. A sound precaution to be served, but if we were hit by a neural scrambler, not a blunt object, it's a waste of time. Okay. I won't presume to make medical decisions for you, perhaps, but perhaps we should pressure them to, for your release today? It's just... Hayden's trial is getting cold. Oh, before I forget, here are your belongings. The nurses had me hold on to the, hold onto them for you until you awoke. Here's your ID card. Don't lose this again. Here are those headphones you reviewed. I noticed the article on your computer before. Good job getting published. Oh, I got published. Yay! And here's your spoiled milk. Luckily, the hospital staff didn't find you- you're carrying a carton of spoiled milk around to be a cause of concern. <laughs> and finally, here's your- here's your commemorative glass of water that you got from Alfie. Looks like it got broken. Now all we have is this broken commemorative glass. Maybe we should just throw it away. You're right. You wouldn't want to cut yourself. Ah, uh, maybe I was supposed to use it for something. Just let me know when you want to leave. Oh, huh, excuse me. I do not mean to be a busybody, but you see, visitors are so rare these days. Have I ever heard that your friend has gone missing? Uh, are you... Oh. Uh, has Turing been sitting here by your side the entire time? Uh, Turing? I think I recognize that voice. But I can't be sure. Uh, hey, you're the guy from the intro. Um, why can't I? Oh. <laughs> ah, better now. Once again, I'm sorry for being nosy, but you were perhaps speaking of Hayden Weber? 
He was an old friend of mine. And I would be most concerned if he were indeed who, uh, whom you were discussing. Is everything all right? Who are you? Ah, uh, of course, I have not introduced myself. You are quite, quite right to be wary, assuming the serious nature of what I have overheard. My name is Dr. Yannick Fairlight, and I am the founder and former CEO of System One Software, now a Parallax Company. He's telling the truth, at least as far as I can intuit from the information on the mesh net. And I do recall Hayden me mentioning a Dr. Fairlight at least once in passing at some point. Ah, I see. Confirmation of my identity. Were you listening in on our conversation? I apologize for that. It isn't difficult to overhear bits of every conversation in this room. I may not regret it, however. If this situation indeed concerns us both, perhaps we can help each other. I will not press you for information, but perhaps I can be of some assistance? I remember my associate with Hayden fondly. My association with Hayden fondly, and I would be happy to help in any way I can. I have nothing better to do, so regardless. Um... How'd you meet Hayden? Hayden and I made, a, made our acquaintance when Parallax and my company underwent a merger. At the time, Hayden was merely a young hotshot researcher working in the search data correlation sector. He was assigned to find the best ways to integrate Parallax's own collection and analysis tools in, into System 1's LIPS operating system. He was a bit much to handle at times, honestly, but I admired his passion for the subject. You said, former CEO? Ah, yes, former. I accepted a lower position after the merger with Parallax, though that too did not last. The new board of directors and I had a difference of opinion about the direction the new company should take. The distributed mesh net that the current generation ROMs use at the time was highly experimental. I felt that a non-centralized data scheme was dangerous, both from internal and external threats. I have been proving them wrong so far, but the security work that goes into maintaining the integrity of the mesh net is incredibly expensive. There were other disagreements, but in the end I was voted off the board of directors and exited from the company. It would be dishonest to say there are no hard feelings, but I am still a very wealthy man and I have found other projects to occupy my time. My time. Do you know anything about Hayden's research? His research? No, not so much. I remember at the time he had an interest in advanced machine sapience, but that is a realm of science fiction. He once showed me a prototype of his. She was quite clever, very convincing, but you could tell she did not contain the spark of life. I assume that you are another of his creations? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. My name is Turing and he is Manny. Um, did you say she? Ah. Yes, she was quite insistent on the fact that over wait. she was quite insistent on that fact over the course of my conversation with her. Hayden said that she had picked out the color for her casing herself, pastel pink. Still, I must assume you are far more advanced than she, if you are spearheading this search for your creator. Perhaps I should have more faith in Hayden's little hobby. Do you know what became of her, or where she might be now? Hayden has told me so little of his of his past research. I'm sorry, Turing. It was a long time ago, and I am afraid my memory is not what it used to be. If I ever knew any more about her, I have forgotten, although I still have some connections within Parallax. Should I stumble over any information about your erstwhile sibling, I will pass it your way. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. Let me ask something else. Of course, ask away. Um, what are you doing here? It is quite a coincidence that we find ourselves here sharing a room, but such things happen from time to time. It is not so serious. It's up to us to seize the opportunity when it appears. I'm getting a bit on in years, and this chair you find me on is an advanced diagnostic and life support ROM. Its, de its development is one of my hobbies, or so to speak. It monitors my vitals and administers medications necessary to keep my body stable. I likely would have perished long ago without it, or at least would have been severe severely bedridden. It requires frequent maintenance and I am here at the hospital to have it serviced. Unfortunately, many critically injured patients were rushed into surgery all at once and my appointment has been pushed back. The hospital administrators were concerned about me, thus they placed me here in a room with a quiet patient so, I, so that I can continue my work while waiting. 
I do not think they expected you to awaken quite as quickly as you did. Um, how can you help? Ah, well, I can think of a few ways. I still have some contacts in Parallax, and I could put out quite some feelers. Maybe they know something. Other than that, I'm not sh quite sure what I can do, but I am wealthy and bored, so I'm sure I can come up with something. <laughs> Perhaps you can fill me in on a bit more with the investigation so we can figure out how, to how I can be of best help. What did you find at Hayden's apartment? The first time we went, nothing. But when we went back to gather his computer's data cache... The place had been pillaged! The human revolution had spray paints and slogans all over the walls! Hayden's computer was gone and we were assaulted. We're still frustratingly in the dark and running out of time! I fear Hayden is sleeping at, slipping out of reach. I am failing him. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. So, what do you want? What do I want? Hmm. It would be nice to be young again and off exploring uncharted ruins, taking a nice zero-g trip and seeing the world spin. But, right now, with you two, I simply wish to help. I have the resources, and it, would, and it sounds like our mutual friend is in trouble. It's been very interesting speaking to you, to you, Dr. Fairlight. Right, Manny? Um, let's see. Turing, are you sure we can trust him? I don't think we have any choice, Manny. I understand your reluctance to involve me. I do hope I can earn your trust. Ah, I think I may have a lead for you. To follow up on, huh? Just off the top of my head. You said- Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> you said you found Human Revolution slogans sprayed painted on the walls? I am acquaintances with a man leading the current Human Revolution protest at the Genius cl Clinic. His name is Brian Mulberry. After an introduction from me, he may be willing to shine some light on that particular event. If it was just some hot-headed youths from the organization, it should be an easy cleanup. If not, that's useful information in itself. How do you know this Brian Mulberry? Ah, well, when I, when I exited Parallax after the merger, I sought out like-minded individuals to put pressure on the company to avoid deployment of the MeshNet system. Brian Mulberry was one, was one such person. We did not succeed in our efforts, but a high-profile bre breach of Parallax's servers did force them to push uh, vastly larger efforts into network security that they had planned. A great expenditure of resources, resources I had been hoping to avoid. You're involved with the human revolution? No, no, not in this lifetime, even if I so desire it. I don't think they would approve much of my work. While Mr. Mulberry and I were associated with each other once, it was before he joined the human revolution. I find their methodology too aggressive and their stated goal is dangerously backwards. While I push for careful deployment of technology after the Parallax System 1 merger, I am no Luddite. After all, I would like I would likely be dead without the advanced medical and computing technology that goes into this chair here. Um, thank you for helping us out like this. I'll send a message downstairs to my assistant, Leon Decker. He will hand you one of my cards to prove your association with me to Mr. Mulberry. Make sure you speak to him before you leave. In the meantime, I will get in touch with some other individuals I know and try to find out any other information about Hayden that I may be able to pass on to you. I will be in contact. It was a pleasure meeting you both. We should get going, Turing. Ah, of course. Please do not let me delay you any further. Good luck, Turing. I do not think Hayden's faith in you is misplaced. You are an impressive piece, in piece of technology. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. We'll be in touch. Should I call downstairs and have you discharged, Manny? Yeah, let's go. What the hell is wrong with you? All right, we'll continue this next time on Let's Cats. Bye-bye. Ow.